1 Corinthians 6. When one of you has a complaint against another, do you take your complaint to a court of sinners, or do you take it to God's people? Don't you know that God's people will judge the world? And if you are going to judge the world, can't you settle small problems? Don't you know that we will judge angels? And if that is so, we can surely judge everyday matters. Why do you take everyday complaints to judges who are not respected by the church? I say this to your shame. Aren't any of you wise enough to act as a judge between one follower and another? Why should one of you take another to be tried by unbelievers? When one of you takes another to court, all of you lose. It would be better to let yourselves be cheated and robbed, but instead you cheat and rob other followers. Don't you know that evil people won't have a share in the blessings of God's kingdom? Don't fool yourselves. No one who is immoral or worships idols or is unfaithful in marriage or is a pervert or behaves like a homosexual will share in God's kingdom. Neither will any thief or greedy person or drunkard or anyone who curses and cheats others. Some of you used to be like that. But now the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the power of God's Spirit have washed you and made you holy and acceptable to God. Some of you say, we can do anything we want to. But I tell you that not everything is good for us. So I refuse to let anything have power over me. You also say, food is meant for our bodies and our bodies are meant for food. But I tell you that God will destroy them both. We are not supposed to do indecent things with our bodies. We are to use them for the Lord who is in charge of our bodies. God will raise us from death by the same power that he used when he raised our Lord to life. Don't you know that your bodies are part of the body of Christ? Is it right for me to join part of the body of Christ to an immoral woman? No, it isn't. Don't you know that a man who does that becomes part of her body? The scriptures say, the two of them will be like one person. But anyone who is joined to the Lord is one in spirit with him. Don't be immoral in matters of sex. This is a sin against your own body in a way that no other sin is. Surely you know that your body is a temple where the Holy Spirit lives. The Spirit is in you and is a gift from God. You are no longer your own. God paid a great price for you, so use your body to honor God. First Corinthians 6. When one of you has a complaint against another, do you take your complaint to a court of sinners, or do you take it to God's people? Don't you know that God's people will judge the world? And if you are going to judge the world, can't you settle small problems?